Let's go! I got unique on Itachi! Oh, I've been playing the game a lot. It's okay. It's definitely not the number one tower defense game ever made, but I have been playing it a lot, and we've been grinding, and we've finally got two mythical units now, not just one. We got the Itachi unit right here, and if you guys saw, I got the unique slash the... what's it called? I don't even remember what it's called anymore. It's the Last Crown, Lost Stand... This overlord, uh, it is called, hold on guys, I'm so close. Select Stark, it is called the Chosen One. So I got the Chosen One, which gives you guys seven times damage, fifteen percent shorter cooldowns, and a 10% range boost. There he is on our Itachi unit. The Chosen One is the rarest uh, trait. As you guys can see, it is super OP. And now, of course, guys, I've been grinding. If you guys look in my inventory, I have five cursed eyes. 418 DNA and a scroll. I don't have any e-notes. I can buy an e-note if I run all the way over there to that shop right there. Nope, not that shop. That shop right there, I can actually buy the e-note and I really want to get this parrot dance, so I'm gonna get it. Now I got the parrot dance. Uh, how do I equip my e-note? Hold on. Oh, wait, what? Parrot dance, there it is. How do I do it? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna figure out how to do that. Oh, I forgot I can claim my quests too. Nice, okay, all my daily quests are done. I've gotten coins. But now it is time that we evolve Itachi. Also, if you guys notice right here, I can unequip uh, Itachi. I no longer have the aura. So this is what the Itachi aura looks like right here. Pretty cool. You got the crows coming out of him. And you got the red eye. Actually, it looks really cool. Thera was saying it looks like a domain expansion and whatnot, which I actually kind of agree. But then uh, I'll show you the coyote one, I guess. And then we'll go Evo Itachi. Here is the coyote one. I actually really like this one, except for the fact that it, like... With my outfit, it doesn't look super amazing, but it still looks pretty cool here. I like the Coyote one. I like the Itachi one. I'm going to keep the Itachi one now, though, because it is the reason why we're doing this video. So there it is. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to click over here the play section. And you're probably wondering, Toad, how do you get the Evo items? Go to challenges. And you guys got to keep doing all these challenges right here. And you got to do that right there. Challenge level one. We beat that a ton of times. I think it took us about an hour and a half, almost two hours, because it's a random drop chance. Ethereal got it faster than us, but anyways, I got five curse eyes, because if you look over here, teleport to the evolution section of the game, which is literally the AA. Look at that, I need five of those eyes, and I need 50 DNAs. I get 100% more damage, plus Tsukuyomi ultimate, confirmed. Evolution successful. I don't think he can evolve again yet. So there it is, our Itachi. Oh, that's kind of weird, our cosmetic stayed on. I wonder if it changes or if it's any different. Uh, uh, unequip that. And now let's use my cosmetic off in the. Yeah, okay, my cosmetic's off. Now I equip my Itachi unit. Okay, it is the same cosmetic. Maybe the crows are flying a little bit further away from the but Now if we look at our Itachi unit, there he is, guys. Look at that. 100 damage up to 950. 3.25 and 45 range. Kind of comparable. Um, well, not even comparable to Stark. Never mind. That is insane. Awakened Itachi is going to look super duper cool. I can already tell. Um, you guys got to go over here to get him, by the way. Summon. And there's uh, him right now. But hopefully the banner will change and you'll see Itachi. But for now, let's teleport to the endless mode. And in the endless mode, we got these guys emoting. Uh, how do I pair a dance? <laughs> I really want to know how to do the parrot dance for now, guys, before I leave. Inventory, emotes, parrot dance. I have it equipped. Someone said, I don't know, smiley face. Nice! Oh, also, don't forget to claim your season pass as you guys are leveling up. So, claim all. I get a 1.2 times XP boost as well, which is really OP. And then a 1.5 times friendly XP boost at level 10. So, pretty cool, pretty OP. You guys get more rerolls. Uh, we get the microwave, emote, and all this other stuff. But let's go ahead and join this endless right here. Uh, e brings up the wheel. Oh, there it is, the parrot dance. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I absolutely hate this and I love this. So let's go ahead and go into this endless mode and see how that looks, see if we can do this and see how far we can get. So we loaded into the map right here. It's a uh, pretty interesting. It is the uh, Demon Slayer map right here. Oh wow. These guys have 47 HP. Wave one's done. Wave two, I can actually just place my attach unit down. So. I'm gonna have Itachi placed down right here just so we can kill things a little bit faster. Oh, I actually haven't even seen Itachi's abilities, not gonna lie, guys. So 
First ability that he does is this Fireball Jutsu, which on spawn, he does 700 damage on placement. 700 damage on placement is absurd, what? Wait, Itachi's broken evolved, and he's gonna be burning them? That is actually pretty crazy. It is a pretty small range, I guess I could say, um, as opposed to the other units, and he does have the unique passes, so basically he would be doing 100 damage on placement, which is still a, a lot of damage, you know. He is an evolved unit, so I do expect him to do big numbers. But anyways, I'm gonna do a quick little time lapse here. We'll see how far we can go. We'll make some more money with our money unit, which is the Bat Millionaire here. He's like basically the only money unit that I know of, but we'll be right back. Anyways, uh, time lapse, go. So right here, we actually have two unique Itachis next to each other. I fell down that hole again. I don't even know why that's there. We got two unique Itachis right here. This first one is uh, Rice is here. It does 350 damage, 5.88 seconds with 11 range. And then mine does 700 damage, 5.8 seconds, 11 range. So it's the same stats. The only thing that literally changes is the damage gets doubled which is kind of interesting, but uh, yeah, I've made a good amount of cash here. Let's go ahead and start upgrading our Itachi. So first upgrade, 1400, oh my gosh, this range just became massive. 1400 damage every 3.8 seconds of 16 range. Second upgrade, 700, oh wow. Okay, yeah, that's pretty strong. That's pretty strong. I'm gonna like just stop. Uh, anyways, that's pretty strong, 2100 damage. Upgrade him again, he gets Amaterasu now. What does he do with that attack? Oh, it's the big eye. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, there's the Amaterasu attack right there, guys. Um, pretty cool. 2800 damage. Upgrade him again. And again. Oh my gosh, he has 49 range. And again. There he is. He's maxed out doing 6,000 damage every 2.76 seconds with 49.5 range. Uh, let's see if I can get Rice to max this out real quick. Uh, hey, Rice, can you max out your Itachi real quick? Yeah, that is absolutely crazy. 6,600 damage, and then 2,800 on Rice's. That's absurd. Now, of course, we've gotten everything we need for this Itachi. Let's go ahead and check out... Oh, look at... Wow, he looks super cool, actually. Yeah, he looks really cool. Let's go ahead and test out this Sukuyoni ability. I kind of want to face this way just in case, but here it is. Huh? 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 Is it a time stop? It has a two minute cooldown, but I think it's a time stop ability. Is that literally Gojo's time stop map wise? I mean, it's pretty cool. I wish they showed the cooldown time. You see what I mean, guys? Like, the game's good. It's okay. It could be better. It's fun. It's new. At least it gives us something to do. But yeah, we got the Itachi unique right here, basically doing that much damage, and he gets a time slot Tsuku Yoni ability. Now if we compare him to like Coyote real quick here, that it's also unique. Do you guys see that? Coyote is a lane attacker and does have 66 range, but it Itachi is just crazy actually. He does so much damage. Also these guys have shields by the way, so it does get a little bit difficult and you are going to want to have a ton of units with you. And then here's my uh, Kizaru unit I guess, he's also unique. 420 damage every 2.1 seconds with 66 range as well. So the range isn't an issue for our uh, Coyote or our uh, Kizaru or our Itachi, honestly. So everything's looking pretty cool. But that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think of the Itachi unit. If you like him, let me know. If you don't, let me know. But I am going to go to sleep. I will see you guys later. Reese's thesis. Bye.